Hi everyone, this is Shivangi and welcome back to the Daydream Project Beauty. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite lip colors of this year. So guys, I have a lot of lip colors, okay? And these are not the only ones which I like or love. It was very difficult for me to kind of shortlist uh, the lip shades which I'm going to show you. Today, there are 10 lip color options which I'm going to show you. It's a mix of bullet lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. There are more of liquid lipsticks though because I do use a lot of liquid lipsticks. Anywho, that's pretty much it. Let's begin with lip color number Number one. The first lip color is by Pack Cosmetics. It's from their Sweet Sensation range and the shade name is Dolled Up. Before I show you the swatch for this, I just want to tell you that the swatches online for these Sweet Sensation lip creams are not anything like the actual color. So if you're planning to buy one of these, definitely go through a swatch video. I made one on Instagram and you know, just for reference to see the actual color because online it just looks extremely different. Just letting you know. It's a coral nude shade which is suitable from fair to medium skin tones. These lip creams do stay on the lips until you eat or drink something. The darker colors of these lip creams also leave a tint on your lips. But yeah, this one will require a touch up after you eat something. Next shade is by Color Bar. It's their Matte Me As I Am Lip Crayon. It's a terracotta nude shade, which is again suitable for fair to medium skin tones. These lip crayons as well do stay on the lips for a long time. They can survive drinks and light meals, but if you do eat anything oily, you will have to touch them up. Next shade is Madras Kapi from Nika. This is from the Liquid Matte range and I absolutely love this brown toned shade. These lip colors are comfortable to wear. They do survive light meals and drinks and yeah, I really like them. Next shade is from Pack Cosmetics again. It's their Retro Matte Gloss in the shade Candy Heart. This is one of those really bright Barbie pink shades which is suitable for fair to medium skin tones. I absolutely love the formula of this product. It is really comfortable to wear and it can survive drinks and light meals. Next lip color is from Rimmel Stay Matte range. It's called Rose and Shine. This is one of those everyday nude pinkish shades which is suitable for fair to medium skin tones. The reason why I'm showing this shade to you is because I love it. The formula however does not give one swipe pigmentation. You will have to layer it up. However, after it dries up, it is transfer proof, very comfortable to wear and it can survive drinks and light meals. Next lip color is MAC Cosmetics Flat Out Fabulous. It's one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC guys. It is the perfect fuchsia pink. It is suitable for all skin tones. These lipsticks are not transfer proof. They can survive drinks but after your meals you will have to touch them up. Next one is from K-Beauty in the shade Climax. I've actually grown quite a liking for these K-Beauty crayons guys. This is one of my favorite shades. It is highly pigmented. It gives one swipe pigmentation and it is transfer proof. It's also comfortable to wear on the lips. It can survive drinks and light meals and it actually does stay on the lips for a long time. Next one is from Matte Cosmetics Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color range. This shade is called Feel So Grand. This has actually been my favorite red lip color of this year. The formula of these liquid lip colors is slightly drying. However, if you do apply your lip balm before wearing them, it is quite comfortable. These lip colors are extremely pigmented. They are transfer proof. They can survive drinks and light meals. We've come down to the last one, guys. This is again from MAC Cosmetics from the same retro matte range. It's called Carnivorous. This shade I've actually used the most for special occasions and festivals this year. It's a beautiful deep brownish maroon shade which will suit all skin types. It looks amazing in pictures guys. It is a beautiful beautiful color. The formula is same as the last one. So that's about it guys. Those were some of my favorite lipsticks. I promise I will make more lipstick recommendation videos because there are definitely more. And about the nail paint video, I'm so sorry. I don't think so it's going to happen this year because I am traveling to Kolkata day after tomorrow. Arjun is already there. He's probably eating fuchkas right now as we speak. Wish you a very happy new year already guys. I hope you enjoy a lot with your family and friends and all the goals, all the resolutions and everything that you've planned for 2020, you smash it. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, then please do. We have some awesome content planned for 2020 and just hit that red button and stay tuned. We would love to have you on board. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then ensure that you do. All the giveaways that we host happen on our Instagram handles. Plus, I do post a lot of makeup content there. On that note, I'm going to sign off for now. Happy New Year, guys. I'm going to see you next year. Until then, bye-bye. Mwah!